Hello, everyone. Welcome. Like, comment, and subscribe. A breadboard is essentially the foundation to construct any prototype electronic circuit. As breadboard allows for easy and quick creation of temporary electronic circuits or to carry out experiments with circuit design. As we can design kit shops, voltage law, kit shops, current law, any home, or you have any, any circuit in your mind that you can design on this breadboard. Breadboards enable developers to easily connect components uh, or wires. You can see that we have the components like a resistor or we have an inductor. We can connect them on the breadboard. I will show you how we will connect it. Thanks to the rows and columns uh, of internally connected spring clips underneath the performer plastic uh, enclosure. You can see we have the plastic enclosure behind this. So if we will uh, remove this, I have removed the plastic enclosure on this. You can see underneath the plastic en uh, enclosure, where uh, we have the spring clips you can see the spring clips i will show you how they are connected so behind the breadboard you can see the breadboard looks like this and uh, on the front side the breadboard looks like this you can see the grid is made up of perfectly aligned spring clips each hole is 0 0.1 inches apart both in x uh, x axis and y axis uh, so on the front side you can see the breadboard looks like this and on the back side the breadboard looks like this as you can see on the front side, you can see the holes. These holes on the back side are connected by a metal strip. You can see the metal strip. I will show you one metal strip. You can see a metal strip. This is the metal strip by which these are connected. You can see a metal strip here. I will put the metal strip. I have removed one metal strip so that you can understand. You can see I have removed a metal strip here. Uh, on front side, you can see the holes are visible and on the back side i have removed a metal strip so right now only holes are there so this is an insulating material so there is no conductive material now if i will put this metal you can see the metal strip so i will put a metal strip here and so that this becomes the conducting material and put in uh, like this you can see this put like this I will put it here and now this metal strip will become the conducting material so this entire row will become now the conducting material this metal strip uh, should be isolated from this metal strip this metal strip should be isolated from so each metal strip is uh, isolated from each other also you can see this metal strip and this metal strip are isolated by this insulating material between only one row is continuous you can see the metal strip then this row is continuous you can see but this row and this row is discontinuous and on the front side we can check as well you can see if i will put here and i will put here so this entire row is connected but if you will see another uh, part of this breadboard it's actually connected like this on the breadboard you can see this is part is disintegrated from this now you can see the difference this part we saw on the back side this was connected vertically you can see this part is connected horizontally you can see this part is connected horizontally the reason behind this is because if we need a supply uh, positive and negative we will just bring the po supply positive we will connect it here and negative we will connect it here you can see the entire uh, positive supply say 5 volts so this entire uh, row will give me the 5 volt supply plus and minus and i can sim i can simply bring the 5 volt supply wherever i, I need it in the circuit that is why this uh, part and this part is uh, usually kept for uh, the power supply if we need two power supplies we will connect one power supply here plus 5 volt if we need another 10 volt supply we will connect it here so that is why this is connected horizontally you can see horizontally now i will show you whether this actually is connected horizontally or not so i will see uh, front part of this and the back part of this you can see back side is this and front side is this now we will check by the multimeter whether this is actually connected horizontally or not let us check you can see the back back side metal strip you can see this is giving the beep sound now we'll check on this because this is uh, horizontally shorted you can see this is giving the beep sound this is giving the beep sound but you can see on the um, back side uh, 
uh, this is shorted up to this that means this metal strip is discontinuous from this mode so we cannot you can see if i will connect it beyond here you can see you, you, this will not go to beep sound because this is discontinuous from this now say for example i have to draw this circuit in which i have a voltage source then i have two resistors r1 and r2 i have two common resistors here practically you can see two resistors r1 and r2 so then i have a breadboard say for example i have to design this circuit on this breadboard i am showing simple circuit so that you can understand the basics of this then you can design any circuit if you will understand the basics you can design any circuit as you know i already have told you that you use this for the supply this uh, upper part and the lower part you can use it for the supply so this body you can use for to connect these components you can see we have a resistor r1 uh, so i will connect just one resistor r1 somewhere here one terminal here and another terminal i will connect somewhere here. this is horizontally disintegrated from each other so this is at one potential and this will be at the other potential if i will connect this resistor like this so you know they are at the same potential so the entire current will flow from the short circuit so so no current will be flowing through this so you have to connect this resistor uh, one ter one uh, terminal here and another one you have to connect somewhere you can connect it anywhere apart from this you can connect it anywhere here 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 wherever you want you can connect so i have connected on here so this is at one potential and this is at, so in, in my circuit r1 has come now if i have to connect r2 to you can see r2 is here you can see one terminal of r1 and another uh, connection of r2 they are connected I will connect one connection of R2 here, so I have to connect it here because this is vertically shorted. So as you know, R1 and uh, one connection of R1 and another connection of R2 are at the same potential. So I have to connect one terminal at the same potential. So I can connect it here in this row. In this row, I can connect it here. I can connect it here. I can connect it here. I can wherever I want. So another connection I will connect somewhere here. So by this way, R1 and R2 have come in series. Now in the circuit, you can see the supply is connected, positive and negative. You can see the positive is here and negative is here. So first of all, I will bring the positive supply. You can see the plus, plus. You can see the plus is connected to one terminal of R1. As you know, one terminal of R1 is here because another terminal of R2 is connected. R1 is connected to the with the R2. So I have already connected it here. So another terminal of R2, you can see that is connected with the negative of the supply. Negative is here. You can connect it anywhere. Negative will go to the R2. That will go here. Anywhere here. In this row. So this way my circuit is complete.